थैंक यू डॉक्टर के लक्ष्मण जी माननीय श्री कार्तिकेय शर्मा जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर सर दिस बिल इंटेंस टू अलाइन सर्टन प्रोविजन ऑफ द सेंट्रल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टैक्सेस एक्ट 2017 थाउजेंड विद द ट्रिब्यूनल रिफॉर्म्स एक्ट टू सर आई राइस इन द फेवर टू स्पीक इन द फेवर ऑफ दिस बिल so the bills is also a testimony of the resolve of honorable prime minister towards streamlining of rules more than 1500 redundant and obsolete laws have already been done away with and with such measures we are as uh, uh, measures are in addition to the process of enhancing administrative efficiencies in reducing the workload and the case load sir so the gst has ushered in a new era of financial governance leading to enhanced financial administration GST has not only widened the tax collection but has also led to formalization of the Indian economy from fragile 5 to top 5 the Indian economy has traveled a long distance in the last 9 years under this government in 2013-14 upper capita income was 68000 which has now increased to 180000 rupees in 23 22-23 in 2014 the capital expenditure was 3.9 lakh crores and the union government under the leadership of honorable prime minister shri narendra modi has increased it to rupees 10 lakh crores by 2023 between 2004 and 14 tax collection was 19 lakh crores which has now increased to 70 lakh crores in the 9 years from 14 to 23 the gst collection has reached 1.87 lakh crores in april 23 and the monthly average gst collection is 1.69 lakh crores our foreign exchange reserves were at 309 billion they stand today at 593 billion today the indian stack enabling digital india is a focal point of global discussion in financial year 23 over 103 billion digital transactions worth over 166 trillion indian rupees of transactions across india the number of transactions was estimated to rise up to over 411 billion by 2027 in the country sir these numbers are just mind boggling the for, the world is flabbergasted at our success in the digital payment ecosystem the robust new companies registration depicts strong growth intentions around 93000 companies were registered in the first half of 2324 as compared to the 59000 five years back the average daily registration of new companies increased to 660 622 in 2324 an increase of almost 58% from 395 in 1819 all scheduled commercial banks credit growth year on year has been accelerated since early 2022 aggregate deposits grew by 13.2% and credit by 20% till september in the coming months we expect the credit demand to increase even further exceeding all expectations and predictions india's gross domestic product has demonstrated a remarkable annual growth of 7.6% in the second quarter of financial year 24 building a strong first quarter building on a strong first quarter growth of 7.8% the second quarter has outperformed the projections with a growth of 7.6% the imf in its recent report very recently sir has applauded india's economic performance and has termed it as a star performer contributing it to 16% of the global economic growth it has lauded the country's digital public infrastructure and strong government infrastructure push for the sustained growth and has projected india's economy to grow at 6.3% in the current fiscal year india has emerged as an outstanding performer among major economies showcasing resilience in the face of global uncertain environment characterized by risks related to geopolitical conflicts fluctuating energy prices and concerns about a political or, or about a potential recession this impressive milestone further substantiates the country's unique development paradigm a paradigm that has been a hallmark of the prime minister narendra modi's government in the last 9 years set to leave an inspiring trail for other developing nations to follow so the honorable prime minister modi is focused on building fundamental public infrastructure first empowering individuals to act as agents of change we have seen the approach in the government schemes like swabhagya jal jeevan mission pradhan mantri awas yojana and ayushman bharat among others Today we have achieved 100% electrification of villages while over 13.7 crore tap water connections make water available to 70% of our families from only 17% about a decade ago. So India is following a 4D model of development, demography, 
democracy and diversity. And the period till 2047 is one of the huge opportunities that India, Indians who are living in this era have a great chance to lay a foundation for the growth that will be remembered for times to come. For a long time, India was perceived as a nation of one billion hungry stomachs. But now India has been seen as a nation, over, nation of over one billion aspirational minds, more than two billion skilled hands, and, a hundred, and hundreds of millions of young people. So who are the beneficiaries of this rapid economic progress? I ask myself and I, when I see around, it is the mates who come to our houses to assist us in our daily chores. Yes, they are the beneficiaries. Is it the gardeners? Is it the milkman and the vegetable vendors? Yes, definitely. Is it the drivers or the safai karamcharis? A big yes. Is it the watchmen in our offices? It is the employees in my firm which I can personally vouch for. It is the ST, SC, women in the weaker sections of the rural India which I travel to almost every other day. Sir, the economic progress has actually percolated down to the last person in the queue. And Antyode ka uday hua hai. Sir, I would like to thank the Honorable Finance Minister for addressing the concerns of the Honorable Supreme Court and being able to bring this bill to her, its culmination point. It is the, for the leadership and the vision of the Honorable Prime Minister that young Indians are thinking of coming back to India and not leaving India. The reverse brain drain which has un unheard has begun. Modi is definitely a short form for man on, man on development of India. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Karthikeji.